I honestly hadn't uh, picked up on it at all. I thought I mean, the meeting I had with Rory previously was um, at the end of it. I, I'd be, I'd be hit, waiting to hear right. about it, and obviously now I have, and I've only had to wait uh, under a week, and, and this has been, you know, I'm just shaking. <laughs> Place that, you know, when he, when, when uh, I forgot his name, sorry. When, it, when the person started talking about a particular student that Rory has noticed. I literally, you know, my heart dropped. I was like, oh, you know, if it, I, I couldn't, I couldn't for a second believe it would yeah. potentially be me. Yeah. And have you uh, been to Patagonia before? I, no, I haven't. Uh, I, I have done a lot of travelling myself. I've been to Madagascar. I, I spent last summer in America, and I tried to get out as much as I possibly can. I've, my plans for this summer uh, were to be dissertation project work. Uh, from, you know, in, in a place such as Scoma or something like that, and then obviously, uh, and then also, I would like to um, do a, a cycle. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a keen cyclist, and I would like to cycle to Amsterdam um, and, and stay with friends that I've met uh, in America last summer, and then possibly do a further cycle around Europe with friends I met okay. at university. So, I, I'd love, you know, with the opportunity to go to another country to do work is just Fantastic. an absolute privilege. With such a, a, a obvious, br brilliant man. Yeah. That's well, what he was. one last question. Question for you, William. Which is tell us a bit more about your passion for. Is it marine diving? Marine birds? diving birds. I, I, I've recently been elected as the um, diving officer in the scuba diving club, which means that I will be in charge of all the scuba diving that's undertaken uh, within the club next year. Um, and obviously, that means that uh, diving birds, I can somehow relate to the theory behind the diving. Yeah. You know, there, there's cormorants which can dive to 152 meters at two meters a second, uh, which is unbelievable, and, and then stay down there and feed uh, while they're on the bottom. Um, Whereas a human, for example, cannot dive past, I, I'm only qualified to 35 metres, and I will descend at a rate of, I don't know, a, a half a metre, maybe every second, uh, you know, and that is, that is a fast rate because of all the equalising, all the pressure, and, and that is how, in particularly marine diving birds and marine mammals, which dive to certain depths of sperm whale, which dives to 3,000 metres, uh, and, the, and the, the pressure that their systems have to go under to get that deep, you know, and, and that, that is my question about it. And, and now I've been, you know, handed the opportunity to, to actually go and do it and work with marine bird with Magellanic penguins, <laughs> and, and also have the opportunity to see killer whales, which are in fact my, my favourite cetacean. That's brilliant. Well, many congratulations, thank and thank you ever so, so much for giving us your reaction. I know it's all been a big shock for yeah. you, so I mean, thank you ever so much. Yeah. Right. Lovely. Thank, thank you. you.